Welcome to episode number 24 of the best laptop setups. Last week's winner was Thomas. Congratulations, I've already contacted you. You're getting $100 for an Amazon gift card, plus the Razer Thunderbolt 4 dock, which is the item you picked. Plus, I picked two winners, I've contacted them, and they're getting the remaining two items. The good news, though, is that we're doing the exact same thing in this episode. Razer has sponsored it again, which means we're giving away a Razer GAN charger, Razer Thunderbolt 4 dock, and a Razer laptop stand. So all you have to do to enter the contest is very simple. Just like and subscribe, drop your Instagram or TikTok username, and then I'll get a hold of you. Razer not only makes some of the best gaming laptops on the market, but they also make incredible accessories to further enhance your laptop experience. Regardless of whether your space is made for productivity or gaming, the Razer Thunderbolt 4 dock acts as a central hub, expanding capabilities with 10 extra ports via single connection. Each Thunderbolt 4 port can charge up to 90 watts, and depending on your setup, allows you to connect up to two additional monitors with USB-C. The Razer laptop stand is an all metal design created to hold laptops up to 17 inches with a dedicated cable management slot for easy organization and features additional ports on select models. Lastly, a must have travel accessory is the Razer USB-C 130 watt GAN charger that's extremely compact and capable of charging your laptop and three other devices. To learn more about Razer's laptop accessories, check my links in the description down below. Now the first setup comes from Jad. He wrote nothing in his email. There's no text whatsoever, just three pictures attached with the same angle, just with different aspect ratios. And look, it's a clean setup. You know, he has nice white walls, an iPad to the right. He has a couple of pictures of owls making love on the left-hand side of the wall. There's a bunch of rock salt lamps and candles to set the tone. He has a beautiful, big, microfiber mouse pad with an HP mouse and then this mechanical wireless keyboard with orange and gray keycaps. His monitor seems to be from LG with NVIDIA G-Sync. It's probably about 27 inches. And then he has an ASUS monitor that's flipped upside down right above it. I'm guessing 25, tons of light. He's by a window, but the problem is I have no idea if there's a laptop in here because his iPad's to the right, but he's not duplicating his screen on those monitors. I see a Windows 11 desktop. So for all I know, you could be connected to a desktop computer. And unfortunately, this is a best laptop setups video, not desktop video. So I can't include your setup as one of the potential winners. So good to look at, but unfortunately you're disqualified. The second setup comes from Vasujith. I apologize if I butchered your name. He's from India. He's a big fan of the best laptop series. I already respect this guy. And he has a couple of laptops connected to this thing. He has a Dell Latitude 3420 i5, and there's a Surface Laptop 2 right under that full HD ViewSonic monitor. The reason why I chose this laptop setup is because it's a very budget-friendly laptop setup. The point I'm trying to make is you don't need to have something crazy expensive to have it look good. You can make any space feel fantastic with a small budget. And Vasujith has done exactly that. I love the desk, it's custom made. It has a black and wood tone to it. It's a contrast and he has it matching his little unit on the right hand side. He has a black mouse pad with his Logitech K380 keyboard, which is obviously Bluetooth. And then he has a wireless mouth, mouth mouse to the right hand side. I love how he tucked his Surface laptop right under the monitor. His desk is not that big, right? So it's the perfect space for it. He has an Amazon Echo speaker. He has another Sonos speaker to the left-hand side that he probably takes when he leaves the room. And then he has a bunch of coffee cups, some lights. He has some natural light coming in, but he also got some incense. He likes his room to smell good or he likes to cover up his farts. So the third setup comes from Joe. He's an expat living and working in China. He moved there with his wife, who's a teacher and likes to draw manga as a hobby. He's in the food business. He ships food and beverages, export, import. And this is his setup where he likes to relax and consume media. Now, Joe's ruler is obviously broken, right? Like it has to be, because if you look at the division between desks, he got a lot more of the room than she did. But I do like the setup, you know? He's right beside the window. He has some natural light coming in. He has a desk he bought in China for about a hundred bucks that comes with cable management. His monitor is from a Chinese brand called Panda, 2K resolution, 200 Hertz, 99% sRGB. And he has it connected to a Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 9 i7. He has a generic monitor light bar at the top for some ambient lighting. There's a Logitech C920 webcam for meetings. He has a Samson 
Q2U microphone if you need to do any podcasting or Zoom calls. And his keyboard is a Keychron K2 keyboard with brown switches. Good choice. I use brown switches as well. He has a Logitech G703 mouse, fantastic gaming mouse. And then under his desk or on underside of the desk, he has a Thunderbolt hub that he uses to connect all his devices to. There is Bose QC45 headphones on the left hand side. And then he has an Xbox Series S that him and his wife use to do a lot of gaming. Look, I love this setup, you know? I love the fact that you're also into music. It really shows your personal uh, traits that you like to do on the side besides working. I can tell your wife is really into manga. You have a lot of gaming peripherals on the left hand side. Everything looks nice and neat. I really like this setup a lot. I think you did a fantastic job. The fourth setup comes from Cliff and he says he's a Filipino from Sydney, Australia, and that he works as a solutions architect and that this is his work at home setup. He says it's very minimalistic and I totally agree. I love the fact that it's not over the top. It's not crazy. It just works. His desk is nice and clean. There's not too many knickknacks on it, which can sometimes feel overwhelming when you're trying to sit down and get your work done. He is using a Mac Pro 2020 and he has this connected to a LG monitor. It's a 32 inch monitor and he has it on a monitor stand. So it's floating off the desk, which I obviously love. Cables are running down the back. Just kind of hide them a bit better because I do see them sticking out on the left hand side of the monitor arm, but he is using a Logitech MX keys. His mouse is a Logitech MX Anywhere 2S and his standing desk obviously has different levels that he can move it up and down so that he's not always sitting for the entire day. He has some fake plants to the right hand side. He has a candle to cover up his farts, just like the other guy in, earlier in the video. He has a couple of speakers on his desk and then he has a Samsung wireless charger for his phone. Now the fifth setup comes from Santiago. He's a medical doctor and content creator from Colombia. And I like the look of his desk, okay? Because it says business first, but it's also super clean. And it's a nice turn point from the traditional white desktops we've been seeing. This is still minimalistic, but it's using a bunch of more rich colors. And he has this black world map on his wall, which contrasts nice with the white paint. His desk is a standing desk. It uses a crank to move up and down, which is totally fine. Not everything has to be electrical. And the laptop of choice is a MacBook Pro M1 Max with 64 gigabytes of RAM. Like he went to the T with this thing. Now, the only thing I don't like is the placement of the MacBook Pro. I think he could have put that in a laptop tray below his desk or in a laptop stand. It just feels a bit too cluttered on the left-hand side, but he is using one cable to connect it to his CalDigit TS4 dock that he has underneath the desk. He has an iPad to the right-hand side. He has a magic trackpad, a K-Cron K3 keyboard, but most importantly, this guy got bonsai plants. Like, come on, like how much more tranquil do you need this desk to be? I think that's such a brilliant idea. It adds a sense of greenery and a sense of class. And the last setup comes from Glenn and this is his cheap but clean budget laptop setup. Again, I think this is the theme for this video. Cheap and clean budget laptop setups, at least most of them were. And I'm liking this, you know? You, you found yourself a little nook with a desk that fits perfectly in there. You're going for a darker theme, which is which is great. It gets you in the zone, especially at nighttime. You have a metal desk lamp to the left-hand side. You're using a Lenovo IdeaPad 330. That's probably my only complaint is that the Lenovo IdeaPad is just sitting there. I would have loved to see it below your table or in a laptop stand because with the PlayStation 4 right beside it, it feels a bit too cramped. Maybe even under that laptop stand or monitor stand you have there would be a better place for it. You're using a Zeus M710 keyboard. You have a dual sided desk pad, brown office chair, Apple MagSafe battery pack. So obviously he's rocking an iPhone 12 or later. He has a wooden coaster, Logitech M170 mouse, and a bunch of PS4 controllers. Overall, a very friendly budget and clean setup. That wraps up this episode's best laptop setups. I'll pick the winner obviously in the next one, but if you wanna win one of those Razer items, don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop your TikTok or Instagram username in the comment section down below, and I'll announce the winners in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.